Hello folks, welcome back to our Let's Play for Nino Kuni. And we're just on our way now to collect our new outfit, which, with luck, should now be ready. We've done quite a bit of optional stuff, we've had a rest. I think they have plenty of time to prepare it for us. Awesome. What do you think? Huh? Oh, that's trendy. You look proper sharp, Ollie boy. Hmm. Well, that's very nice of Hoot and Nanny. So, we can buy things off this person. At least, that's what we've just been told. We're actually going to go ahead and meet the king next. But before we do that, I'm just going to see what we can buy, because I think we can buy treats for our familiar. Yes, we can buy chocolate, which increases attack power. So we'll buy 10, we're not going to be able to buy more than that anyway, because our familiar is nearly full, I believe, since we threw every treat we had at it, which I probably shouldn't have done. But now we'll feed it chocolate and watch its attack, it'll go up. Well, it went up by half a level, so it didn't quite level up, but... And we can feed it one more, and then we're going to have to wait. It's now full. But yes, useful to know that you can buy chocolate and a variety of other uh, treats from that shop. We're now going to head to see the king. Since we are appropriately dressed at this point, there's nothing to stop us from doing so. There's a couple of guards here at the front of the castle. Are they going to let us through? Nope. Let's speak to him. What's he talking about, the king's red herring? Okay, so the king has basically lost his fish. Yeah, because that's not random. And nobody's allowed into the castle until it's been found. So we're going to head to the next star objective and see if we can go and collect that herring. And we basically want to head to the pond that's just to the north of the shop with the errands. So there it is. There's the shop. And there's the pond. What red thing? Okay, so we can hop out onto these logs. Ah, I can see a fish swimming. Ah, oh, I saw it. I did, I see it. <coughs> I am really trying hard not to cough down the... Uh, Cough for the commentary. 
but I think I mentioned in the previous episode, which I only recorded like five minutes ago, that I have got a bit of a chest infection, so hopefully you can put up with that nicely, and I will try and turn the mic off before I cough next time. Anyway, what we're doing is seeing where this herring has now swam off to. I'm guessing the water connects it all somehow. But we basically want to head to where we saw the ghost earlier on. Is this thing not respawned yet? Nope. There it is. And that is a nice big fish. So Mr. Drippy's going to carry this for us. He has his uses. And we're going to head to the guard who wouldn't let us in previously. Hopefully now he will be happy with the task we have accomplished. Just let us in. We'll see him, please. Okay, so the king is a lazy king who lost his herring. You can tell this game is a JRPG, can't you? Pleasure to meet you, you and me, Algisty. So it was you who delivered one's treasure back to one, hmm? That's right. I yes, you and me, Algisty. Hmm. And you wish for a prize, hmm? Um... Go on, man. Ask him. Uh... Come now, don't be shy. Well, you and me, Algisty, um... Out with it, now! We need your wand. <sighs> One's wand. Man. <sighs> huh? What did you say? <sighs> Crikey. <Huh? laughs> <sighs> that smell. Could it be? That's right, you of Yaldristi. He's not from our world. He's the one whose power freed me from my prison. What? You mean he broke his spell? This little boy? Yes. Do you understand what you're saying, Fairy? Once you defy him, there's no turning back. I know, I know, I know, but... But what precisely? Well, you know, he might be able to... Hmm. Hmm. Ah, it's not one's concern. Ah, you may not have the wand. Now be gone. Does that mean no wand, Mr. Droopy? Looks like it. Right, so we need so a, a better wand. Now? Something wasn't quite right about our royal friend. Broken-hearted he is, or I'm broken-headed. The king is? Lacking enthusiasm, it looked like. And because he's broken-hearted, the whole kingdom's being dragged down with him. What are we waiting for? Let's go find the piece of heart he's missing. Blimey, you don't need much encouragement, do you? Okay, so we need a better one because the... Rubbish stick we have just isn't going to cut it, and the king happens to have one that we could use, only he doesn't want to part with it. For the same reason that the guard earlier on wouldn't let us into the city, he's broken hearted. So we need to go and collect some more enthusiasm. 
but we can't collect enthusiasm from the guard we collected it from earlier because collecting enthusiasm twice from the same person ends in bad stuff, apparently. But that shouldn't be a problem since there's a lot of people here. There's got to be somebody else here with enthusiasm. And it's the Telling Stone who we collected from Old Tree Beard earlier on. So this locket we have will help us find somebody with a happy heart by flashing on the minimap. But in this case, it's going to be made easier with an objective marker as well. Farewell, Mr. Tellingstone wherever he went. Okay, and we have control back, and as you can see, we have an objective marker, as I mentioned we would. So we'll continue our adventures next time. Please rate this video up, share it with your friends. Uh, you can use the YouTube share feature once you've liked the video in order to do so. That really does support me by increasing the audience that this series reaches. And... I've been First Finger, your host for today, as always. I will see you next time. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye for now.